We've all been there. Sometimes RNG just screws you over. I've been grinding this situation a lot recently where you get no movement and zone pulls across the map. In this video, you're gonna see two insane examples on how I handle that situation. The first one's from the West Solo Cash Cup, the second one is from My Scrims, an absolute stacked game. At the end of this video, I'll throw out some tips on how to handle this situation, but for now, check out these highlights. Gosh, I'm actually kind of nuts. I will not die first moving. I will not. You got this. Bro. You got this. Bro, 
probably keep hugging left and use less mats. That's what I've been doing the past few games, <laughs> dude. I keep getting rolled. Go diving. Oh my gosh! That's what I'm talking about, baby! <laughs> nice, bro! Oh my god! Alright, so as I promised at the start of this video, I'll throw out some tips now on how I handled these situations. First thing to note about the solo cash cup game is when the first moving zone starts. I slowly tunnel forward just to give myself some extra space to scout for launch pads. In cash clubs, people always launch that first moving, especially when you're on back edge of zone. Someone did launch nearby me, but I couldn't figure out where it was, so I just decided I had to go by foot. Immediately, I dropped to a lower layer because when you're on an upper layer, you're going to be in the sight line of everybody on front edge of zone. On first moving zone, there are going to be a lot of people rotating by foot around you, so it's good to look for shot opportunities and refresh opportunities while you're on the move and they're distracted by their own rotates. Kind of like peace controlling on the go. I picked up a few kills doing that, 
Next thing to note is that I'm overbuilding like crazy. If you get cheap with your building in this situation, a lot of times you're gonna get fried by front edges zone, you're gonna be even more shambles, and you're going to die. So it's better to use a good amount of your mats like I'm doing here, blocking your angles where you know you have danger. You'll be able to get a refresh later in the game, but if you die, you're not gonna be able to ever get a refresh. Next thing to note is I make sure I'm healthy once I start getting low on mats because I'm about to go for a refresh, so I wanna have as much health as possible. I get this kill here because I hear him shoot his shotgun at my wall, which means he won't be able to shoot for another few seconds. So then I just open up a wide edit and get that pump in while his is recharging. Next is the refresh that gives me the win. Whenever you're tunneling, you want to be scouting around you. I notice this guy rotating on this layer, so I open up an edit and cut off his rotate basically. I studied NRG Epic Whale's solo cash cup a while back, and while he's tunneling the zone, he's using his tunnel as peace control on enemies around him, cutting off people's rotates and getting refreshes on the move. That's a good thing to practice in scrims and cash cups, because once you can master that, you'll have no problem getting refreshes. It takes a lot of focus to be able to scout your rotate, tunnel the zone, peace control enemies all at the same time, but that's what makes pros, you know? They're super calculated with everything they do, and they're able to multitask while doing these things. But last thing to note about this first game is once I got that refresh I got to front edge's zone and at this point I'm set for the win and I'm just looking for kills so when I'm on front edge's zone I open an edit to spray back at the people shambles on back edge's zone and I get two free kills. Now next game was a lot more stacked but it was a very similar idea for the first few zones. On the first moving zone I'm building a lot because I do not want to die with mats. While I'm building the zone, I'm also looking for shots on people around me trying to get those refreshes. The biggest difference in this game is that I had medkits, so I was able to do a medkit play. I took a tick of storm here, and then I got ahead a little bit, popped my medkit. That way, I was able to scout for refreshes from storm where people least expect to get shot from. Medkit plays can come in so clutch, especially when you have no more builds. At the very least, it can help you clutch up extra placement points, but you can also get refreshes like I was able to in this situation. I started getting lobby focused once I got that refresh, but I did get a launch pad off this player, so I set up a low launch. I placed a ramp behind me, edited my wall super wide open, and placed that launch pad and it got me out of that congestion. But then zone pulled straight back, so it kind of screwed me over again. So I have to waste a lot of mats again because you do not want to die with extra mats. I do two more medkit plays throughout this game, and then once it finally gets to that last move zone. First thing I need to do is just look for a refresh. In these tiny last moving zones, if you just run around with your pump out, people will eventually open up on you and you might be able to get a kill like I did there. Once I get that kill, I am so stacked on mats and so the only goal is to get out of the congestion of low ground because there's still five other players alive and shambles players are always going to be on low ground looking to take a 50-50 which is really risky. So I just slowly worked my way up layers trying to get out of that congestion. You also need to do your best to not take any ticks of storm in the last moving zone because a lot of times it's going to come down to a heal off and if you're weak you're going to be one of the first people to go down. This game specifically, I had no white heals for this last moving zone, so I needed to go for a play to win the game. If I didn't go for a play, I would have zero shot of winning because somebody's always going to have some white heals, and once that zone disappears, you're going to die before them. I got a little lucky with this last shot, I kind of bodied the dude, but let's go. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, sub if you're new, use code JiveNTV, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Let's go!